Hi, welcome to Elejoy. If it's your first time designing a solar system, you have come to the right place. Today, I will be introducing you how to make a selection for the MPPD solar charge controller and then tell you some of the advantage, advantages about solar charge, MPPD solar charge. So what is MPPD? MPPD stands for Max Power Point Tracking. It is a better technology that tracks power more efficiently and provides higher conversion rate for your power output. Compared to the PWM uh, technology on the market, right? PWM is a relatively older technology that is less efficient, uh, but it usually go with the cheaper products. For MPPT, you will get a better quality, better conversion and efficiency, and also the product is more reliable over the long, the long, long, long term. So let's take a close look at our uh, products. We have three MPPT solar charge controllers. One is step up, one is step down, one is step down with higher power output. So how do you choose uh, the right product for your solar system? Right? It really depends on the power output voltage from your solar panel and also the, the charging voltage for your battery. So let's pick a scenario. Let's say your solar panel is outputting at 24 volts and your battery is charging at 12 volts. Right, So you need to have a step down version because it goes from higher voltage to a uh, lower voltage. On the other hand, let's say you have a 12 volts solar panel output and you have a battery at 48 volts. So you need to have a step up version going up. And, and we have step up version here, step down version here. So today I'm going to help you choose which is the right model to choose for your solar charge controller. Uh, let's say you want to charge this battery, right, which is uh, charging at 12 volts, and you have a solar panel that's 18 volts. The voltage is going from 18 to 12 volts, so that you need a step-down step version uh, of the MPPT solar charge controller, and you will be using this one. On the other hand, uh, we have a battery that's, output, uh, that's charging at 72 volts. So uh, we have a solar panel at 18 volts and the battery at 72 volts. So you will be needing a stepped up version of the solar charge controller. The, uh, the voltage is going up. So you will, you will need this one, the Elejoy uh, MPPT step up version. Uh, yeah. So I have a 12 volts battery here a solar panel that's rated for 18 volts, and also a, a, a Elejoy step-down MPPT solar charge controller. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to show you how to get them all connected and charging the battery. So if you come closer, right, I have the cable from the solar panel that's going from here to the solar panel. And you need to first locate the input end, right? and then connect the, the red to the red and black to the black. This is a very easy connector that you can just push the wire in and then close the, the, the cap. So it's very tight. And then you will be able to see the, the device turn on with, with the, some settings. Currently the input is uh, at 20.1 volts and zero amp. On the other end, I have a battery that's at 12 volts. And this battery is already connected to the positive end and the uh, negative end. And now I have those, we, I also have a black wire and the red wire. So I just need to locate the output end, right? Because this is, the, the solar charge controller is outputting power to the battery. And then you just need to connect the, the battery, battery uh, the red to, to the yellow yellow line here and and also the black to the black. So you open the gap cap and here we go. Okay, so it's all connected and you will be able to see this thing is charging so right now we are setting the output voltage at 13.1 and this is charging at 14 amps. So this machine 
so this device is already turned on, and let's get closer. You can see the the input end, the solar panel is is at 20.5 volts, and uh, the battery for on, on the output end, the battery is at 13.5 volts, and uh, it is outputting around three amps of current. So 13.5 times three is around uh, 45, uh, 42. Yeah, 42 to 45 watts currently. Okay, we have a solar panel already at 18 volts and a battery at 72 volts. So in order to charge this, this battery, we need to have an Allidroid MPPT step-up solar charge controller. And let me show you how to get them connected. Okay, let's uh, connect the solar panel to the charge controller first. It's very easy, red to the red, black to the black. And then the black to the black, okay. And so you, you can see this thing is turned on and we need to set the voltage, output voltage to 84 volts to, to charge this battery. Right now it is uh, set up at 55.2 volts. I just need to press down the, the plus button and then hold it continuously so it will go all the way up to uh, 84 volts. This is very convenient. Uh, you can adjust this manually and to, to charge any battery you have. So right now it's still going up. It's at 70 volts right now. All right, we are at 84. Then just press the OK button and you are all set. Uh, now let's connect the battery to, to the uh, charge controller. Uh, you just need to connect the red to the yellow. Uh, that's the positive end for the battery. And also the black to the black. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have this controller all set up. Let's check out the output and current. As you can see, um, the, the solar charge controller detects the, the voltage at the battery is 81.9 volts. Uh, this, this is a little bit lower than the, the value we set up earlier. Uh, it is because this, this battery is charging uh, this is, this number here shows the the actual value uh, actual voltage of the battery currently, and this number will go uh, uh, go up gradually and eventually to the number to the to the voltage um, you, you set up to, which is 84 volts in our case. And uh, on the current side, you can see it is outputting at 0 0.47 amps, and com combine them together. Uh, we are roughly getting uh, around 40 watts power output from the solar panel. Okay, now we have uh, the complete system set up. We have the solar panel charging our 72 uh, volts battery at around 40 watts currently. And you are using the Allidroid uh, MPPT step up solar charge controller. All right, thank you guys. Welcome, uh, yeah, thank you guys. Hit the subscribe button and, and like.